Thank you, Governor. Listening. Thank you, Governor. Mike Lindine with Fox National. I want to change topics and get your reaction on uh, national politics. Uh, <laughs> the special counsel report that came out last week against for President Biden, it had, quote, uh, he is a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. What do you think of this? And then also for uh, the 2024 election, uh, does 20, does 81 year old President Biden have a better chance of beating Donald Trump than you? And do you disagree with 86% of Americans who think he's too old to run? Well, I, I, I appreciate uh, the question and the framing, but um, I also appreciate my president and, uh, and his performance. Um, a few moments later. And, uh, just the first part, what's your reaction to the special counsel report? I haven't read the special counsel report in detail. I know the president's reaction to it has been quite pointed and vocal uh, in terms of expressing his own uh, opinion about it, but I haven't taken the time to read it. Europeans here are worried. They see America and they say America is stepping back. You've dealt with Donald Trump. What advice would you give them? Him? Have an intervention into your mental health, your political viability. He's, a, he's really grotesque, and it's really a shame. Meanwhile, a video of Joe Biden is being widely shared online. In the video, he appeared to get lost after his address while leaving the stage at an event. After his speech, as he turned to leave the podium, he stood still, seemingly confused and completely lost. All this while there was a thunderous applause after his speech. Uh, he was also seen muttering some words. Buonasera, President Biden. President. Good evening, Mr. Pre no, President uh, Biden. President. Here we are, President, Presi uh, President Biden. Qui. Here. Yes, yes. Good evening. All right, guys, so we got to talk about Democrat communist governor of California, Mr. Gavin Newsom, who swears up and down that he's not going to run against Joe Biden for president. But he really didn't say whether or not he would be willing to replace Joe Biden if slash when he steps down, because I personally believe that that's what's going to happen. OK, I believe that Joe Biden is going to step down because it is clear and obvious that he does not have the cognitive capabilities to continue to be president of the United States. And that is showing up in polls. It showed up in the recent DOJ report in which Biden was in such bad shape when trying to answer questions uh, that even the prosecutor had to note that, hey, this guy is not even mentally fit enough to stand trial, okay? And Gavin Newsom was confronted on Biden's mental state. He's actually been asked, a few questions about that lately and he's been dodging the question but on meet the press with kirsten welker he visibly got triggered by kirsten welker confronting uh him with the polls showing that the american people don't believe that biden is mentally fit enough to continue to be president of the united states like the american people don't believe that biden can actually serve another four years and this triggered gavin newsom take a look Let's talk about you, Governor. Days after that special counsel report came out questioning the president's age and his memory, the Washington Post reported that anxious Democrats reached out to top Biden donors to ask, quote, when is Gavin getting in? Or how about Whitmer or Shapiro? The buzz has not stopped. I know you've been asked this before, but do you still rule out a run in 2024? Are you got to be kidding. I, I am here celebrating the extraordinary accomplishments of the Biden-Harris administration, making the case that we need to make to lift up the issues, lift up the record, drive contrast with the Republican nominee-to-be, Donald Trump, Have you so that we calls? can win for four more years. Have you gotten any calls, Governor, well, encouraging every, you to it, run? It's all idle chatter. It's all irre it's, you know what? That's a sideshow. I think what Democrats need to do is worry less, do more, continue to overperform as we have, continue to win, make the case. Don't be ashamed of 4.1% GDP over the last two quarters. Don't be ashamed about the alliance management of the Biden-Harris administration. Don't be timid about right. making the case for the record of this administration. So you're ruling it out 100 percent. I mean, it's not even an interesting conversation. Okay. And by the way, I think it's a damning conversation. Frankly, the other side wants us to have. And trust me, I know the Michigash coming from the other side. I'm deeply mindful of the anger machine and all the entertainment industry out there on Fox and elsewhere that love ginning this stuff up. At the end of the day, not only is this train left the station, 
but we are we get to enjoy a record of accomplishments as we make the case in a re-election, the likes of which we couldn't have even dreamt of, uh, even as a Democrat, the last century. Yeah, talk about a used oil salesman trying to sell the American people a shit sandwich, right? That is the best way I can describe Gavin Newsom because he has become the chief marketer of the Democrat Party. And anytime he's asked any one of these questions, he tries to pretend like Biden is the best president ever, right? When this guy has the lowest approval rating of any president in modern history. But yet, if you listen to this guy, Gavin Newsom, talk, you think that Biden was amazing, right? He was the best president ever. It's just not true, okay? And it shows you how this guy will straight up lie to your face, okay? He will piss on your leg and tell you that it is raining. However, there is something to be ashamed of, right? You should be ashamed of yourself running a elderly man who clearly uh, is not capable of being president of the United States uh, at this point is borderline elder abuse, okay? Biden belongs in a nursery home, not the Oval Office. And it's just not the American people saying it. It's also foreign entities that are seeing this. For example, uh, this Italian television network, uh, they made a skit, an SNL-style skit, making fun of Joe Biden's cognitive deficiencies because that's how obvious that it is not just to the american people but also to the whole world we have become a laughing stock on the world stage and videos like this are exactly what i'm talking about because this is not the first time we've seen uh some foreign television network mock the president of the united states we saw it uh with saudi arabia they did it as well too on their state-sponsored television network and now we're seeing it in italy Buonasera, Presidente Biden. <laughs> Presidente. Good evening, Mr. Pre no, President uh, Biden. President. Here we are, President, presi uh, President Biden. Qui. Here. Yes, yes. Good evening. Buonasera. Yes. Yes. Eh? I said to... The president of Israel, sì. Mikhail Gorbachev. No, no, non è Gorbachev, non è Gorbachev il presidente dell'Israele, no. no. So, yeah. so again, he's making fun of the fact that Biden can't even remember the current leaders of state, okay? I mean, he's getting the leaders of Germany, France, Egypt, he's getting them mixed up, right? He's getting them all mixed up. Uh, he's talking about having meetings with dead people. Clearly, obviously, Joe Biden has no clue what's going on. And again, it's so obvious that even other countries have taken notice, right? They're mocking Joe Biden, okay? This is how much of a laughingstock America has become on the world stage, right? This is, again, this is why I laugh when Democrats talk about um, the adults are back in office, right? And, oh, we're going to be respected on the world stage again when that has not happened, okay? We've been laughed at, okay? We've had countries invaded under our watch that would not have been invaded had Trump still been in office, okay? Our enemies feared us, okay, when Trump was in office. Uh, but now our enemies and our allies as well too, they mock us, right? They invade foreign countries. They try us, okay? They um, try to antagonize us militarily. This is what they do. They become emboldened under the Biden administration because the Biden administration is weak, okay? I don't think that Saudi Arabia or this Italian television show would be mocking Trump if Trump was in office. I don't think they would be showing this type of blatant disrespect, okay? Because they understand that Trump is a strong leader, right? And uh, Trump is not to be mocked. But again, this is what's happening overseas. Michael Jordan. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. When he went to the moon. Quando è andato sulla luna. And uh, he was shot from Dallas. Ma non hanno sparato lui a Dallas, quello è Kennedy. No, sia fermo, fermo, Presidente. <laughs> Presidente. Long shot from Dallas to the moon. Si sta, si sta confondendo con Kennedy. Uh, 14 si. million si. Eh? Mi miles. Fort, fort. Mi... Vabbè, ma, uh, non è, ma non è lui, Presidente. To, uh, Mr. President. His wife La moglie. tried to bring him. No, ma quello è Kennedy. È Into the sto... cabriolet, do you... No, no, sta yeah. facendo confusione, Presidente. Yes. Sta facendo confusione, evidente. Sorry, eh? Sì. It, it was in the moon. Non è andato sulla It was luna. Mars. No. Mars attack. Ma che Mars attack? No. Beautiful no. film. Eh? Where Netanyahu sang. 
No, ma Netanyahu, no. Netanyahu è, è, è il presidente di Over. This is not too far off. Okay, this is not too far off from where Biden is at. Again, this is a skit. Again, this is what SNL should be doing, right? This is the low-hanging fruit they should be doing. But it's actually a shame that this is not too far off. Okay, this is pr pretty accurate right, in regards to how Biden uh, carries himself during press conferences. Yeah, this ain't this ain't too far off. The garage. No, the rainbow era. Vabbè, ma... He's opening by this. Cosa fa? Dove va, Presidente? Cosa fa? Presidente? Mr. President. No. Where are you going? Stay, stay, stay quiet. Ecco. Ok. No, no, no. Please, please, please. Cosa sta dicendo? Cosa sta facendo? Quella è la valigetta. È la valigetta dei codici atomici quella. No, no. Lei non sta bene? No. No. Yeah, I'm fat to gross. I, for, I forgot to take the pills. No, ma non sono le pillole, non è, non sono no, le medicine. I call the, the nurse. No, 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 no. <laughs> so he pressed the nuke button, right? This is what they said Trump would do, right? This is what they said Trump would do. But again, this is how much of an embarrassment the Biden administration is, okay? And see, here's the thing. This is why, you know, when Newsom says there's nothing to be ashamed about. Of course, there's something to be ashamed about. We have basically a, a, a zombie in the White House, okay? A corpse. Of course, there should be something to be ashamed about. You should be ashamed of yourselves for forcing this guy to continue to run instead of forcing this guy to drop out. But hey, maybe Democrats don't have a choice because according to a new poll, yeah, this is a bombshell poll, okay? Uh, apparently, Biden is the Democrats' best option because Trump not only is beating Biden, but he's beating Newsom and he's beating Harris. Poll. President Biden performs best among several high profile Democrats in hypothetical general election matchups against former President Trump, according to a new poll. The Emerson College survey released Friday found Biden trailing Trump 45 percent to 44 percent with the one point difference within the margin of error in a hypothetical rematch with 11 percent undecided. Poland has shown Biden with an approval rating around 40% and most Americans wanting candidates other than him and Trump this November. But the Emerson survey found he was more competitive against the former president than a few other top Democrats. In a hypothetical matchup, Trump leads Vice President Harris 46% to 43% and California Governor Gavin Newsom 46% to 36%. He also leads uh, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer 45% to 33%. Yeah, so what you have here is um, Joe Biden uh, being the best Democrat to actually take on Trump, which is kind of crazy to think about because Trump is beating uh Kamala Harris by larger margin than he's beaten Biden if you even believe that Trump is beating Biden by just one I believe that Trump is probably beating Biden by a lot more than that but regardless let's take this poll at face value um he's destroying Gavin Newsom by 10 points 10 whole points 10 whole points so even if Gavin Newsom got into the race, and again, this guy has been doing interviews across the national media. So it's not like this guy doesn't have a national profile. He does. Okay. It's not like you can chalk it up to, well, Gavin Newsom is some type of unknown. No, no, no. He's been on national television being the number one cheerleader for the Democrat Party. Uh, even with all of that, he's getting crushed by Trump, right? Crushed by Trump. There's no evidence whatsoever that Democrats have anybody better than Joe Biden to take down Trump. And that could be the reason why they're forcing Joe Biden to go out there. Okay? Tell you everything you need to know about Democrat Party voters in this country. Tell you everything you need to know. Um, Yeah. So, with that being said, I still believe that Democrats will replace Joe Biden. Okay? I think that Joe Biden's poll numbers are just too low. I think they would much rather lose with somebody like Kamala, Michelle Obama, or Gavin Newsom rather than to lose with Joe Biden. There's no way they could... Uh, line this guy up and have him go out on a debate stage with Trump or to go out on a campaign trail and to consistently campaign and put in the effort needed in order to win. But, you know, we saw last time in 2020 that Biden didn't really need to campaign. He campaigned from his basement and somehow, some way he allegedly won, which again is pretty unbelievable, right? Extremely unbelievable to think about. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Democrats try to pull the same strategy here. But regardless, uh, Biden's in bad shape, right? And Democrats are in worse shape because they don't have anybody 
to replace him <laughs> actually gives them a better chance of winning than Joe Biden, which, again, is kind of insane to think about. OK, they're kind of stuck with Joe Biden at this point. And that's kind of the state of the Democrat Party. It's pretty, pretty, pretty uh, interesting to see what's going to happen moving forward. I think regardless of that, they still are probably going to try to pull Biden out of the race um, at some point. But we'll see. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.